Okay, we're back. Um, this is part three of the late positioning elements on the web page. And so we uh, this is Amin Mojira with Imagination Everywhere in the Rear Institute. Um, this is the visual web developer video series tutorials on um, and this is part four. Uh, this is part three of the video tutorial four. Um, so if we look at it, we if we examine what we have here, we have uh, in the web page that we created, we have the black body, which is the background of the whole page. Then we have uh, what's we have actually six divs. We have a container div that's holding all of these divs, um, and then we have the header div. We got the left column, the middle column, the right column, and then we have the footer. So if we go back into uh, Visual Studio, we can see all of this and the reason why we had the little mistake that we had before is because I didn't put the container div uh, here which if um, we go ahead and uh, I go ahead and I do a little comment out which is I hide these uh, I hide these other divs for a minute go ahead and hide these uh, divs for a minute oops you know what I I write so many programming languages I forgot this is not the right comments for that uh, so let's do that uh, let me just go ahead and highlight it and comment this out for a minute so if I've commented this out so that we can look in the design view um, what we're dealing with so what we're dealing with is actually a container which is the seventh div that encapsulates all these other divs with, en with encapsulate means it contains all these other divs it's the parent it gives birth or it, it is it gives birth to all these other divs because all these other divs are within the container div so if we look at the container div the container div has a style uh, it's have an ID of, of container it has a width of 800 degrees and a margin left and the margin right of auto and what that auto does like I explained in the last video is it centers the container div in the middle of the web page um, so and because it's a div remember now it has a global style of red a background color of red and 100 pixels in height and it's relative so what relative means that right now it's 100 pixels in height but as we add more elements to it that means that it will just go with the flow of the page so if we have a div like this header div if we go ahead and we take this header div out of the comment and the way we do that we just do that and if we click sync the header div inherits all the properties of the container div since we didn't put any styles um, in the header div it is actually just the same thing it's just like you know uh, putting one on top of the other so there's nothing there's no difference in the uh, the, the container and the header uh, div oh I didn't take out the closing tag so what I gotta do is take out the clo closing tag also so if we take out the closing tag the header div and the um, the container div are the same. Now, again, uh, HTML uh, is an it is operates as an inheritance language, so uh, that's why everything is contained within the HTML tag, and then the head tag has the style and the title attributes, um, and then it closes. Um, then the body contains everything within the web page so it's like a parent child relationship so the header is a child of the container um, and the left column is a child of the container also but now when we take that out of the comments and we go ahead and uh, I gotta remember to take out these closing tags take that out of the comments and we take this closing tag and we uh, bring it out here. Actually, we can do it just a Control K, Control D to format everything, so we can get everything formatted correctly. Um, and uh, so that you'll be able to see how how everything is. 
if we look at the left column now, the left column, the reason why we give uh, elements IDs when we're positioning them on the page is because if there is a global style for uh, uh, a certain type of element, an ID is able to distinguish that element among its among its uh, relatives based on the ID. And there's some other ways that you can distinguish uh, elements also. We're going to get into classes and titles and stuff like that. But the ID, the significance of the ID is an element can only have one ID. I mean, uh, an ID can only uh, be possessed by one element. So there can't be two left columns on the page or two containers or two heads. So that's the significance of an ID and it's mainly to allow you to position the element. Now, getting back to the left column, if we look at the style, it has a background color of yellow, so it's going to override the background color of red. Um, and it has a height of 400 and a width of 200. So it's going to override the width in the container of 800 um, and it's going to override the 400 pixel uh, height uh, right here in the global uh, div and then it floats left so these don't have that attribute so if we go ahead and we zoom out as we can see here's the left column and if we save that and we go ahead and we view that in the browser this is what you'll get Voila! So we got two position, two elements on this page. As you can see, it's like building blocks, and so we're building one block. And see, the float left allows it to float all the way to the left of the container div. And so we have the header right here. Uh, this everything else right here is the container, and here is the left div. So if we go back into Visual Studio and we want to deal with the middle column if we uh, take that out of the comments now we have to do is uh, just move it over a little bit so we take that out of the comments with the left column with the middle column is doing it has a style color of gray height of 400 and it has a width of 400 and it also floats left so what that means is the floating left is going to float all the way left to an element that uh, that is also able to float left so the, the the element that is closest to it that floats left also is the left column so if we view that in the browser refresh this voila so it's the building blocks that we're dealing with so if we go back to Visual Studio and we uncomment the right column, it has a background color of blue, a width of 200, a height of 400. So it has the same attributes uh, as the um, left column. So, and we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about the, the right column and the left column um, in the next video when we deal with classes. So, uh, so uh, here we go. So, uh, if we go back into the browser, and it's contained within the container, if we go back into the browser, and boom, we're building our website. As you can see, we're building our web page. So finally, we're going to deal with the footer. If we go and we highlight the footer, and we just go ahead, all we have to do now is just uh, uncomment the selection. As we can see, now the footer, since it's the last element, it has a background of green, and we do have to give it a position of a relative, and a float of left, and a width of uh, 800 degrees, um, uh, of 800 pixels. Um, so uh, we've we've gone ahead and did that. And I don't know why that says it doesn't have any matching tag. That doesn't make any sense. Since I'm running out of time on this one, we're going to continue this in the next video.